The under 25s have been particularly badly hit in terms of employment during the pandemic. 14% of those actively seeking work in Jersey are in that age group. But it's essential that we invest in our young people and to do that we need employers to offer the right opportunities. Well Jersey Electricity has just launched its largest ever apprenticeship intake. And joining me now is David Cosland who is head of the organisation development at Jersey Electricity. David, why now? Well, as you say, you know, unemployment is at a quite high level at the moment in Jersey, so we want to do our bit to offer employment to, to everyone on the island. But we also know that in the next few years, quite a number of our employees in all of our areas will be reaching state retirement age. So there's that potential for them to leave the business and therefore take knowledge and skills with them. Now, this isn't the first time you've offered apprenticeships. How successful have they been in the past? Our apprenticeship programmes really do go down very well. So we bring people in straight from school or straight from A-levels and we put them through a very structured programme of development so that they can reach the academic standards we require them to whilst also learning on the job so they get the practical requirements too. From there, once they've completed their practical requirements and academics, they can go on to HNC, HND, possibly degrees and chartered engineer status. And do you find that those people stay in the business? Very much so. You know, we have a very, what we might call, sticky workforce. You know, people join us and they stay with us for a, for a long time. It's not uncommon to see some of our employees celebrating 21 plus years with us. And most of those will have started as apprentices. The workplace is changing quite dramatically with technology. Um, how are you finding the kind of getting the right skills across the whole of your workforce at the moment? It can be difficult because technology is changing a pace really, you know, new digital technology comes in all the time. But what we have to recognise as well is that practical skills, even with technology changing, they don't really change that much. So some of our roles that we're offering apprenticeships for, they're very practical hands-on roles. Whilst technology in the background might change the processes we follow, the role itself hasn't changed for, for years, despite advances in technology. So we do find that we need those skills still in the business, but we also need new skills on technology, and we do our best to try and find those too. Now obviously the apprenticeships are aimed more at the younger age group. Are you looking for people across the age groups? Absolutely, we want anyone and everyone to apply for these apprenticeships. As you say, we've got our largest intake this year, so we don't just want it to be jobs for the boys. You know, there's this traditional understanding that engineering is somehow men in overalls in, in pits and in the road, you know, doing cables. That's not the case at all. You know, we want to change that stereotype. We want to bring people in at all levels, of all genders, all ages, and really encourage people to apply. What part does investing in the low carbon energy future have in changing job roles? It's a large part. You know, some of the apprenticeships we're offering are very much targeted at supporting customers who wish to switch from less carbon sustainable um, fuel types, so into electricity. And we want to make sure that we have the resources available to be able to service our customers. So finally then, what, what kind of apprenticeships are you offering exactly and what kind of people are you looking for? Well, we have six roles altogether with 12 vacancies. We've got some in our energy division, which range from cable jointer all the way through electrical fitter, mechanical fitter and carpenter. And then we have four in our building services. Well, investing in our young people is undoubtedly investing in our island's future. And what better place to start your career than in a company which is also investing in our sustainable energy future for all of us.